almost straight out of the mountains. Bike and all the camping equipment still in the car. We are starting a new project in Braunschweig. It's a small project, budget-wise. Uh, not so much in concern of how much effort we're gonna put in, because um, as you know, there are no small projects. You always have to put in a maximum of effort. So that's what we're doing. As it is a dance project, it's going to be about abstract images. So this vlog is going to be about how abstract images can become the planet on which your dancers dance. It's also going to be about how to set up a rehearsal stage within five seconds, because I'm late already. Possibly the dancers are going to hate me because um, this is a little dark to dance, but it's great for projections. And like so many productions, also this one starts with a visit at German Home Depot. Well, as you know, it's called Hornbach and uh, this is a slightly bigger one. As I said, it's a little bigger than the others and uh, while I'm wandering through the drive-in section of this Home Depot, it's um, time to talk about something hmm, more abstract, like abstract images. Abstract images, why do we use them on stage and why are abstract images something different from the stuff that VJs use? You know that, graphics and all that stuff. Most times abstract images are used to allow your audience to develop their own thoughts about something. And most of those abstract images suggest a place or a thing, but they don't show it. Oh, it's gonna be expensive this time. And by only offering them something and letting their association work, you kind of um, nailed it. Because in a theatre, you don't put people in a box and tell them exactly what I want to see. Obviously, theatre is not film. There's some serious drilling going on here. And even if I tell you that this is only the visual representation of a complex mathematical equation, you will always think that it might be something that you just saw in the news, perhaps. And unlike some VJ loop with squares and lines that rotate and change color, this suggests, in this case, a city, or maybe a planet, or whatever might be the association that you have and your audience has with these images. Still, they are abstract and they don't show any object. And after all, theatre is 50% what you do and 50% what people imagine you were doing. As usual, none of this is sponsored by Hornbach or Horn Depot, but if you like my content, subscribe to this channel and I'll be gobbling about the essentials of video projections in the next one.